As you may already know, it's easy to use Gravity Bridge to transfer ERC-20 tokens such as USDC, DAI, and Wrapped ETH into the Cosmos ecosystem. But did you also know that liquidity pools for bridged assets already exist on Osmosis, and you can use them to turn bridged assets into other tokens and vice versa? In this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of bridging assets into the Cosmos ecosystem using Gravity Bridge and interacting with them on Osmosis Dex. Before proceeding, be sure that you have both the Kepler Wallet Browser Extension as well as the MetaMask Wallet Browser Extension installed in your browser. You'll want them to be both installed in the browser that you'll be using. We'll also assume that you already have a bridgeable token, such as DAI, USDC, or Wrapped ETH in your MetaMask wallet. If you haven't already done so, why not pay a brief visit to the Gravity Bridge Commonwealth Forum? You'll find some discussion, announcements, and governance proposals. But more importantly, you can use the forum to add Gravity Bridge to your Kepler wallet. To do so, click Login, Continue with Wallet, and select Kepler. You'll need to approve the request to add the Gravity Bridge chain. Select an address, approve the transaction, and you should now see Gravity Bridge in your Kepler wallet. Now let's pop over to one of the many independently managed front ends for Gravity Bridge. Today we'll be using SpaceStation.Zone, powered by Cosmos Station and running on Akash. Before proceeding, take a look out of the closest window. Is it dark outside? If so, you can use this handy little button to switch Space Station into night mode. Ah, that's better. On the left side of the transfer window is the source, and on the right, the destination. For the first transaction, the source will be the MetaMask wallet, which contains ERC-20 USDC tokens. And the destination will be our Gravity Bridge address in the Kepler wallet. But first I'll need to connect the MetaMask and Kepler wallets. As MetaMask is already selected as the source, I'll use the Select Token drop-down menu on the left to select the token I'd like to bridge into the Cosmos ecosystem. Today I'm bridging USDC. Next enter the amount, and then click Transfer. You'll have an opportunity to review the transaction before proceeding. Note that you will need to have sufficient Ethereum in your wallet as well to cover the gas fees, and that these fees will vary throughout the day. After reviewing the transaction, click Confirm. The last step is to send the bridged USDC from our Gravity Wallet to our Osmosis Wallet, which is easily done. Just click on the center arrow to swap the source and destination. Our Gravity Bridge wallet is now the source, and for the destination, we will select Osmosis. As before, enter the amount to send, click Transfer, and confirm the transaction in Kepler. A moment later, you can open up Kepler, select Osmosis, and scroll down to see the tokens in your wallet. With that out of the way, let's navigate over to Osmosis. Well, we're here to use the existing liquidity pool to change our USDC into Osmo or exchange any Osmo we may have into USDC. To do so, select Pools from the menu on the left and scroll all the way to the very bottom to the All Pools listing. Click through until you find Liquidity Pool 633 or alternatively, save some clicks and enter the URL by yourself. LP633 is comprised of USDC and Osmo. But as you may observe, Osmosis at the moment does not display bridged assets very elegantly, so you'll need to have a little patience when clicking about. But regardless of the aesthetics, the pool is at your disposal to swap your USDC into Osmo or Osmo into USDC. Another thing to note is that sometimes the input fields can be a little quirky due to the layout so you might find it easier to use the max and half buttons when inputting the amount of USDC that you'd like to swap. And lastly, if you look up at the top, next to the swap button is the add or remove liquidity button. If you're so inclined, you can add liquidity to the pool and earn a portion of the swap fees. 
And there you have it, folks. We hope this video has been informative, but if you have any lingering questions about the process, or in general, feel free to join the Gravity Bridge Discord server, where you'll find a lively and helpful community. Also, for the latest updates on Gravity Bridge news, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to this channel.